Hi guys, I am here with a special guest today, Alex. He has an amazing, amazing channel called French Fry Cooking. And today we're going to be showing you how to do some very interesting eclairs. Hopefully it will go smooth. This is going to be smooth, <laughs> like a groovy. Okay? Yes. So you, you, you're going to make a sweet one. Yes. That's right. I'm going to um. make a savory one. Okay, so first off, let's make the dough. Let's place a saucepan over high heat and add about like Mm, how many uh, milliliters of water? 125 ml. Wow, this is accurate. <laughs> this is like accuracy. I would say like mm, about under half a glass. No, because with baking you yes, need to be absolutely. precise. Yes, absolutely. This is science. Okay. And I'm just checking. You're, you're checking your recipe. <laughs> just checking. I'm sorry, but I'm going to show this. So this is the Chetna's new book, by the way, so it's a good promotion. But you're using it to cheat, so I'm... <laughs> I have no parachute when I'm doing this. <laughs> so let's let's add the butter in. So everything's boiling now. So we take it off the heat. Okay, how many um, grams of flour? Uh, so that is going to be... 85 grams of plain flour goes in. So I think it's all the point of this recipe, to mix uh, the flour with hot water. Yes. That makes all the difference. So what we need to do is go back on the heat, so it will just cook the flour a little bit. But you did not add the eggs? No, so what I do is I leave it to cool for five minutes, yes. um, then add the eggs. Okay, so let's place the dough in the bowl, okay. and then we, we, we let it cool down first. So what I would do yeah. is I would just uh, spread the dough. So that it cools faster? Yeah. Because you're a smart person, that's why you're doing this. And what I would say is that you can do so much with this simple dough. Mm. Um, so if, for example, I, I would add um, zest of lime or lemon because it just lifts the dough and mm. makes it very refreshing. It's a um, base. You can yes. pimp it, you can add spices, you can yes. add flavors. That's great, guys, to yes. remember this. How do you call this? Just, um, just bitter eggs. Okay, bitter so egg, the next yeah. step is to mix the bitter eggs and the dough. But not all together. But not yes. all together. That's what I'm going to say. Um, because you might not need all of it. Okay, okay. So we we just add half. And then you mix it like as much as you can. Yes. Yeah. You are adding the egg gradually, that's what you're doing. Yes, it's two eggs right now, but we might need half more. You think we need, we, you think we yeah, need more? Yeah, I think we might need a bit more. Okay. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. yeah. Yeah, maybe, yeah. It's getting a bit stiff. So if you drop the dough, it should form a wee, and that's when it's the right wee. consistency. What's a wee? No. W E E. W. V for victory. Ah, oh, V. <laughs> w. <laughs> you see? So this is ready, and this can now be put in the piping bag, ready to be piped on a pre-lined baking tray. I sometimes like to make mini uh, eclairs because they're much easier to eat. Sometimes I remember to brush them with egg because it gives a really nice shine to the eclairs. So these will go in the oven at 180C, mm -hmm. 15 minutes, um, and then it's not done yet. So I'm going to take it out, uh, make a little hole so the egg air comes out and it dries inside. And oh. then back in the oven for 15 minutes. Wow, okay, that is skill. So the eclairs are ready. So while they're going to cool down, we're going to do the filling. And for the filling, we need some double cream. Okay. So that's 300 ml of double cream. That's a one tablespoon of caster sugar. So we'll whisk it till it forms soft With pink. Cream? And I'll add some mango puree. Now this is fresh mango puree. You can use tinned if you can't find fresh mango. Fold it in nicely. Okay, I will. Yeah. That's not folding in. Oh, Fold folding, it in. sorry, I thought you, you, meant, you meant whisking like, like a maniac. Okay, okay. folding, yes. that's folding. Dear Lord. Now, we are going to also mm -hmm. uh, put some really nice um, caramelly chocolatey sauce on top. So that's 60 grams of dark muscovado sugar that goes in. Then we have 30 grams of unsalted butter. And basically, we'll mix it so it melts the sugar and the butter. So once that is come together, we're going to add 20 grams of dark chocolate pieces. Take it off the heat. Okay. And then we can throw this in 
and let it melt with the heat from the sugar. And once that's coming together, we'll just add a little bit of double cream. So you can leave that now. And what we can get is, uh, start filling it up and eating oh, it. Yes! So we've got all the elements together. We've got the eclairs, we've got the chocolate sauce, we've got the mango cream, and the most delicious part is the hazelnut wow. praline. I've just got some caramel which I have poured over some roasted hazelnuts and then just are going to smash it. Okay, shall I smash it? Oh, yes. please do. If we put a tea towel on top, then it won't escape from the sides. You weren't thinking about me while you were doing No, 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 never. I would not do that. That looks perfect. I could just sit with a bowl of that and eat that mm, on its, it's own. It's too good. I'm going to take tiniest bit of the smaller crumbs and just throw them into just the cream. To get some texture inside. Yes. Fold it in and just put it in a piping bag. Wow. That is awesome. It's got so much room inside to fill it up. Exactly. Them up. And if you don't cut it and if you try and fill it through the hole, which a lot of people do it, I just don't get the satisfaction. There's not enough cream. Would you like to do the honors or shall I do it? Okay, I'll show you how. So maybe I should do the honors. So we're going to fill these. Oh my word. That is just going to be stunning, isn't it? So what I'm going to do is you can do any sort of design or piping you want. This one is for us. Well, all of this is for us, uh, but this is let's taste some. Okay. There you go. Cheers. Cheers. Have you had anything like this in Paris? Yeah, never. The combination of the mango and the, the caramel hmm. and the hazelnut works brilliantly. Hmm. The, 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 the sweet puff is very light, hmm. extremely light. Oh, thank you so much, Alex, uh, for coming all the way from Paris um, to join me here in the kitchen today and for all your help. Then so please go to French Guy Cooking channel. So basically on, on my channel, we are going to make a savory eclair with hot dog filling. Ooh. Good, okay. Um, so yeah, you would want to try that as well. And thank you, thank you so much for joining me. Pleasure. Thank you. Bye for now. Bye bye, salut.